Hey guys, welcome back. Today in the Untidy Artist, we are making mini gnomes. One of my very favorite tutorials from 2020 was my gnome ornament tutorial. And I decided to take it a step further and uh, figure out how to make them stand up because I want to be able to decorate with these all year long. You'll want to check out my gnome ornament tutorial in that I go through more uh, slowed down steps on how to cut the beard and form the hat. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to create the base of the body so it will stand. So let's grab some supplies and get started. Now you're obviously going to need some gloves. I grabbed these at my local grocery store. They were on super discount and I'm stocking up on them. So I bought a whole bunch of them. And then you're gonna trim off all of the fingertips. This is what you use for the hat and the body. Then you're going to need some faux fur. You can get this at the craft store or your local fabric store. I'll put some links below. This worked really well. I bought it with a coupon, so it was super cheap. And then in the gnome ornament tutorial, I teach you how to take the blade and a little pattern to cut out the beards. What I like to do when I'm making a lot of gnomes is cut out several of the beards at once um, so I don't have to keep going back and getting my razor blade out and measuring it. I just do a whole bunch at once. We will be using these little tiny wooden beads for their noses. And I have these in different sizes because I think it's fun to have some with bigger noses and some with smaller noses. These are my favorite I've found so far. I will put links for everything used in this tutorial below. To make our gnomes stand up, we are actually going to use these corks. So if you are a wine drinker, save your wine corks. If not, you can absolutely buy these at the craft store. I will put a link below. And what we're actually going to do is cut these in half and then the flat side, so the uncut side is what we'll use to help stand our gnome up. I have some little tiny elastic bands. You can also use string or dental floss works well. I have some polyfill. I actually bought an inexpensive pillow and I've been using the inside of that to fill all of my gnomes. So it's a really good way to save money. Then we're going to need some pellets. These are going to help weigh our gnomes down so that they stand up. And I got this at Michael's Craft Store. You can see they're just these little pellets. I imagine you could also use rice or something like that, but these worked really well to have my gnomes stand up and have a nice shape. I have a spoon from my kitchen I'll be using my glue gun set on low, a sharp pair of scissors. So to cut our corks in half, I have a sharp knife from my kitchen and a cutting board. Please make sure you're using proper knife skills. And then to decorate my little woodland gnomes, I just have this bag of moss I actually used in a terrarium video from forever ago. And I'm just using some of these little pieces to decorate my gnomes hats. Okay, let's get started. So first step, grab your corks and cut them in half. Once again, be careful, use proper knife skills. So you're gonna have a flat side and then the side that you cut that'll be a bit bumpier. We wanna make sure when we're making our gnome that the flat side sits on the bottom so our gnome stands up nice and straight and tall. Then you're going to grab your little fingers and decide which ones you want to use for the hats and which ones you want to use for the bodies. And we're going to start with those. So I place it down with the smooth side up so the uncut side, and I'm going to take my little finger and I'm going to roll it back and put it on my finger like it's a hat. And then what we're going to do is slide this over the piece of cork. So I'm going to make sure that that seam on the fingertip is lining up right in the middle of the cork. And then I wanna push it really tight because we want it to lay flat. So you can see that's lined up and it's pushed through and it will lay flat. Then I'm going to take my polyfill, roll the top back a little bit and take just a few spoonfuls. I'm going to fill up my little gnome body about two thirds of the way. I push that down with my fingers and then if I need to add a little bit more, I do. You don't want to overfill them. And then to make those little beads stay in, I'm going to grab my polyfill and just put in a little bit at the top. I also liked how it shaped the top of my gnome and it's just easier to close it off if you don't have those little beads falling out. And then I'm going to grab my little elastic and wrap it around few a few times. You could use uh, embroidery floss, you could use thread, you could use dental floss, wax dental floss works really well. I find that these little poly bands are the easiest to use and you just wrap it around a few times. I make sure it's nice and tight and then I'm going to trim off the top. And I, I like to set it down as well and make sure it stands up nicely. 
and kind of move that filling around to make sure that my gnome is standing up. Then I'm gonna trim off the top and we have our first gnome body done. Then we're going to follow those same steps with our other gnome body. So rolling the fingertip back, sliding it up and over the piece of cork, making sure the flat side is facing the bottom, pushing it through nice and tight. We're going to grab our little beads, fill it up about two thirds of the way full and use your fingertips to press that down. And then taking my polyfill and topping it off with some of the polyfill pushing it down once again with my fingertips and then grabbing my elastic and closing off the top. And then I like to make sure it stands up nicely and I trim off the excess on the top. Now we're going to get our hats ready. So I also go through this more slowly in the gnome ornament tutorial. What I like to do is roll the fingertip back. I push my finger into it and then I pinch it the opposite direction of the way the seam goes. And while I'm still pinching it, I push it back at a tiny dab of glue. And this is going to give our hats some cute shape and dimension. And I do the exact same thing with the other fingertip. Rolling it back, I put my finger in it, pinch it in the opposite direction, add a tiny dab of glue, hold it until it sets, and I've got a cute little shaped hat. Now it's time to assemble our gnomes. So I line them up how I'm going to put them together. What you're going to do is take the gnome body and I decide which way the front is going to be. And then I take my beard and I'm going to add some glue to the back, covering all of the back, making sure you get the edges really well. And then you're going to lay it onto the front of your gnome and smooth it down and hold it until the glue sets. And I like to make sure that it's laying flat against the sides. And then I'm going to grab the hat and I'm going to line the hat up so it's facing the right way and slide it over further than you would think. I slide it over my gnome and then putting my finger on the front of the hat and the back of the gnome's body, I pull the hat back and add some glue. And then I'm going to pull the hat up and over the glue and hold my finger there until the glue sets. These are also steps I go through much slower in the gnome ornament tutorial. And then I'm gonna face it to the front. We're gonna pull that hat back. And one thing I really like doing that I think helps a lot, I'll grab either a pin or use my fingertip um, or some scissors and I kind of part the beard where I want to put the nose to make sure that it's centered nicely and to make sure that that glue is going to set and that the bead is going to stay in place. So once I've got that figured out, I take a little dab of glue onto the nose and I place it on the beard. And you wanna make sure that the hole for the bead is going vertical. Hold that in place. And I kind of tilt it forward a little bit because then you can pull the hat up and over that little hole on the top and cover it up. And then I pull the hat up and over the glue and hold it down right around the nose. And if you need to go back and add a little bit more glue, you can. And ta-da, we have our first gnome. It's so funny to me how the second you add the nose, they just get all of this personality. And then I'm going to do those same steps with my other gnome. So once again, grabbing my glue gun, adding some generous glue to the beard, laying it flat, making sure that the glue sets. And then I'm going to grab the hat. And with this one, I decided to add a little bit of the polyfill into the hat to give it some more shape. And then I'm going to push it around my gnome and you push it down fur further than you would think you need to, to get it into place. And then I put my finger on the front of the hat and the back of the gnome. I pull the hat up, add some glue, and pull the hat up and over the glue and hold it in place until it sets. And then I face him forward. I'm going to use my scissors to figure out exactly where I want his nose to go. And then grabbing a small dab of glue, I put it on the nose and I line it up and hold it in place until it sets. And then grabbing my glue gun, adding another little dab of glue right above the nose and I pull the hat up and over and shape it around his nose. And that's it guys, we're all set. Now, last but not least, I decided to add, um, I actually took this one and put a little dab of glue by his, the top of his hat to kind of fold it over a little bit and give it some more shape. And then this is where that moss comes in. So I grabbed just a little piece of that moss, 
I decide where I want it to go. I take a tiny dab of glue to hold it in place. And I just thought this made them look more whimsical and like they've been out in the woods creating mischief. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have just fallen in love with these gnomes. I think they're so fun. I really love this smaller size because I think that they're fast and easy to make. And I'm excited to decorate with these. If you are a gnome lover, let me know below how you decorate with your gnomes or what fun ideas you might have to use these. I just think they turned out so cute. And I have a fun announcement. I am going to give you a sneak peek of the next gnome video I have coming up. It is for a girl gnome. I think she turned out so cute. I'm super excited for this tutorial that's coming up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And please know I appreciate your support. If you want to be the first to know when a new tutorial comes out, be sure to hit that bell icon. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, thank you so much. I appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.